Hi, this is Dr. Cairns, and welcome to week five of Managing Teams in Conflict. I really enjoyed your discussion this week, and I want to make an important announcement before I talk a little bit more about that, and that is for your planning purposes. Some of you may be traveling on Wednesday for Thanksgiving, uh, and I had your uh, have your 42 uh, presentation analysis due on Wednesday. However, if you would like to uh, turn that in on Friday, uh, no later than Friday, that would be fine with me. I want you all to enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday with your family and friends or wherever you're going to be. So if you need more time, take it. Uh, if not, uh, turn it in on Wednesday. So uh, no penalty if you turn it in on Friday. Just make sure you engage with each other. And speaking of engagement, what a phenomenal uh, discussion you had this week uh, from uh, the IDEO Creativity uh, group the deep dive and I, I really enjoyed it. I want to draw your attention to a few points that were actually uh, in the video and you you did those and I don't know if you knew that it was happening here in the virtual classroom and that was that uh, you were looking at uh, several different pieces. And I want to draw your attention first of all to the project lead and I don't know if you captured it but that project lead was selected for for one reason because he was good with people. He was good with groups and uh, that's a, a great skill to have and uh, it's one we're studying and so I can't encourage you more to uh, take the things that you're uh, using in this class uh, and just practice those and put those to use. The more groups you work with, the better you will be, be and the more effective you will be uh, and the more fun you're going to have with that. I also want to just talk about some of the aspects of of the discussion uh, to say that uh, uh, all groups activity uh, do involve uh, working alone uh, from time to time and you saw that this group when they went out to gather information about the task at hand uh, they went out individually they did some research on their own they may have traveled in pairs but they spent some time uh, alone uh, focused on their ideas and that is a, an important aspect of creativity the formula for creativity is solitude plus participation and so that solitude uh, is also uh, what I would call thinking and that's spending time thinking about the project too so it's necessary to kind of unlock our unconsciousness uh, to the process and help us unravel uh, problem areas or problems that we would see and participation is connecting with others being inspired by others and collaborating with others and that's what uh, IDEO did when they came together and I know some of you uh, especially it was Bridget who said, you know, I wouldn't see myself in this group because I need more structure. And I would want to uh, just want to draw your attention that there was structure uh, with that. And sometimes when it comes to looking at innovation, we can think that it is a kind of a free flowing uh, aspect. And, and I got to say, I'm not one for necessarily that brainstorming off the wall thing. I need to think, but I also like to build on others ideas. And so what you saw happening was one conversation at a time. You saw them staying focused on topic. You also saw them encouraging wild ideas. And those wild ideas came from some of that alone time, and it came when they came together. What you uh, need to see is that th we need some time for those ideas to incubate. And then they deferred judgment. I like to say sometimes there are no bad ideas, but not every idea needs to be acted upon. And then that aspect of really building on everyone's ideas. And so when Gary introduced his thoughts to, to the end as we traveled through that conversation, you were building on each other's ideas uh, that were presented. And I liked what idea said. Criticism is easy to do, but spending some time building and reflecting on others' ideas. And so the ideas approach were to uh, have enlightened trial and error uh, succeeds over the planning of the lone genius. And I like that uh, aspect. Uh, and But occasionally there is going to be that idea of genius that comes out that may need to happen uh, as well. But enlightened trial and error and actually Einstein will be building on other people's ideas as well. So fail often in order to succeed sooner. And then one aspect that may have gotten overlooked is that occasionally there's going to be the need for an autocratic person to inject uh, the management of time and the management of the process itself and that's what David Kelly would do and so uh, while we're kind of free falling we do need someone to kind of bring it all together and so all those ideas were presented and then a smaller group 
uh, took from what they felt were the best ideas and they came up with one uh, thought at the end of that and one presentation. So that's going to uh, need to happen. So I just want to close with a, a little bit of a, of a recipe for how innovation takes place where uh, the boss wants those ideas that are quirky and Clash was hit with his and that was what uh, Kelly was saying and a belief that chaos can be constructive and teamwork, a great deal of teamwork uh, is necessary and that that's important to, to see uh, and uh, to have. And I want to close with uh, something by uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, an interview with him uh, in Forbes magazine. Uh, Bezos is the CEO of Amazon and what makes a great innovative uh, CEO. And one is the ability to question, the ability to observe, the ability to network, the ability to experiment, and the ability to have associative thinking, the connecting of dots. And all of that was evident in our IDEO presentation and all of this was evident uh, in your interaction with each other in this forum discussion. There was a lot of questioning going on. There was a lot of observing of what others were saying and doing. And then there was some networking, interchanging of others' ideas, and then experimenting, uh, building on uh, what others had come up with is that uh, connecting of the dots. So you all are a lot more creative than you may have thought going into this. And that's why I really have this creative exercise because we have some thoughts and ideas that creativity is coming up with that one idea that nobody ever had. But really most creativity takes on the building of ideas uh, that others have had. Google is an example of that. Google was building on the ideas that others had uh, and Ultimately, uh, they uh, succeeded in putting forth that idea for it to uh, take place. Early on in my career, I worked for RCA. RCA came up with this uh, vinyl uh, record. If you remember the old records, well, this record was, had the ability to uh, record film and be a uh, video, uh, but it was kind of cumbersome. And uh, again, it was much bigger than what we would have today as a DVD and it was the precursor to the DVD, uh, but it gave the ability for the DVD to later on uh, really be uh, designed. And now DVDs are, are still out there, but most of us download our videos uh, from the internet. So those ideas are, are built upon as well. And then Bezos goes on to say that leaders uh, provide a vision, they provide discipline, they provide motivation to keep the innovative process focused, on time and on target. And ultimately, powerful leaders are responsible for the product success or failure. So ultimately, while Kelly had an engaged group coming up with those ideas, he was the one that was in the hot seat uh, at the end of the day. And then I'd like to share with you one of uh, B. Sosa's favorite interview questions. And that was, tell me something, tell me about something you invented. Tell me about something you invented. And now if you were asked that question, you could say, well, I helped invent some aspects of a, a creative way of looking at a shopping cart. So thank you for engaging with each other. It was really fun to see. And then uh, we went on with our uh, Every Good Endeavor reflection. I really enjoyed that a lot. You're really sinking your teeth into that. You're using it in the forum discussion. You're using it everywhere. And you're thinking about how faith uh, connects again uh, to managing teams in conflict. So thank you for making this really an exciting week. So have a great time, a blessed time with your family and friends this week as you celebrate Thanksgiving, uh, reflecting on all the blessings uh, that we have and have received and uh, go out and bless someone else as well. I'll have virtual office hours this Tuesday as I normally do. So I invite you to join me from noon to one o'clock should you like to hang out at Google Hangout with me and just talk about whatever you need to talk about. Otherwise, have a blessed week. And uh, remember, 42 on Wednesday or Friday, but Thursday is Thanksgiving. Take care and God bless.